Okay, so I have already moisturized my face, and the moisturizer that I have been using lately is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. I'm just trying to use this up because I do actually prefer the First Aid Beauty Ultimate Repair Cream, but to be completely honest with you, I just can't find it right now. So, the next thing that I use is the Benefit Porefessional. It does minimize the look of pores, but not it's not anything too crazy, but I will say it just smells really good, so I just like applying it to my face because it smells incredibly good. The foundation that I have recently fallen in love with, and I told you I would have a review up on it, but instead of doing a review, I thought I would just do an updated foundation routine, and it is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I have mine in the shade Pearl, which is the second lightest shade, and at first, I, filmed, I did film a review on it. I didn't like the review because it wasn't a good review. Because I've used it over the past like two weeks, or not two weeks, probably been like a week and a half. And I will say that this will be my new favorite foundation. I tried it using different products and when I did the review on it, I didn't have my everyday products with me. I just had some like random stuff that I used to travel because I was not at home. But incorporating it into my routine using the products, like my powder that I love, and I swear the powder makes all the difference. So using the powder that I normally use completely changed the way I felt about this foundation. So I apply it with a damp sponge. I just use the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. So let's just get this started. I just put about, I, I put two pumps because I like coverage. Um, so, I mean, it's a lot. It's not super thick, but it's kind, It's not super thin either. It's still kind of runny, but it's not like liquid. But I apply a good amount of this. And when I apply a foundation, I always start at the jawline around my cheeks because I do have some acne scarring on my cheeks. But I also like to make sure that I do not have a giant line of demarcation. So I always like to start at the neckline or jawline and just blend it down because nobody wants to have a line of demarcation. Okay, so as you can see, this foundation has amazing coverage, and the finish on it is beautiful. It has like a nice luminous finish. I would call it like a satin finish because it's not super dewy, but it's not matte. Um, I love the finish of this foundation. I think it is absolutely beautiful, and that's the one thing that kind of sold me on this foundation is I had people telling me, and I noticed it myself, that my skin just looked so luminous, so beautiful, and just natural and it does look like skin. I mean, obviously it looks like I'm wearing foundation, but it's definitely more skin-like because it's not a flat finish. Um, but like you can kind of see, like as I move, it just like brings out that natural luminosity and I love the finish of this foundation. Now I have also incorporated a new concealer into my routine and it's the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I have mine in the shade Light. It is the lightest shade they have. And this is a game changer right here. This. Like, I cannot explain to you, like, just like how this foundation has a beautiful finish, this concealer brightens so well and has such a pretty finish underneath the eyes, and you need the smallest amount, like, incredibly small. It is definitely full coverage. So, I get about that much on the back of my hand, and I just kind of warm it up with my fingers because it is very thick, but we start in the inner portion and I noticed like you know you don't need a lot of this because if you apply a lot of this concealer it will look cakey and it will not last but if you apply just a thin amount because that's all you need it is the best concealer I have tried I hardly put any on my nose and that's simply for the fact that that's the first place that I saw it break down the very first day that I did my review on the Born This Way foundation so I have learned from my mistakes so that is why I'm doing a foundation routine instead because I have learned how to 
manipulate these products to where they live up to their hype because I love these products together. I also blend in my concealer with a sponge. Like my makeup looks oh my god like just look at this finish amazing like oh, I love it I love it so much I just use the morphe m501 which I also use for highlighting but you know it's perfect for underneath the eyes and I'm just going to kind of bake and just put a lot of powder on because I think with a thicker concealer it's good to let that powder sit in and kind of like set into all that. Oh, I'm breathing all of it in. Since the concealer is a lot thicker than a normal concealer, it just helps to set it and make it last so much longer when you let it sit on there for a little while. The powder that I use is the Airspun powder. It's in the Translucent Extra Coverage shade. Everybody and their mother uses this because it truly is an amazing product, so go get you some of this. It's only like five dollars. You can't beat that. Okay, so as you can see, it's all set. Even though we went in with so much powder, the products still look, to me, they look still luminous on the skin, and I love that, that I can set my foundation and know that it's not going anywhere, but it still has like a super pretty finish, so I love it. I love it so much. And sometimes like there's like extra powder and it can kind of look really bright um, but once you like add your contour and blush and highlight and do all your makeup it kind of all settles in and melts together and looks beautiful so I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I will be right back okay guys so it's been about 25 minutes it's completely set you can see it still looks flawless um, I will say it does settle into my smile lines but I have never ever found a product that does not settle into my smile lines and it wears beautifully throughout the day to me it doesn't get necessarily like when it when your face kind of gets oily it doesn't have that oily appearance it definitely has more of that luminous finish so whatever the foundation does to the oils on my skin it makes it look pretty instead of making it look disgusting so you can just see like everything is super pigmented that lays on top of it everything blends out super well it's just a really good foundation and I love it. So if you enjoyed this foundation routine, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.